Hey, Brian Wright Show Nation. Welcome inside the broadcast booth. Brian Wright here, and welcome into another edition of the Brian Wright Show. Just coming off a podcast that I did about motivation versus discipline and the four stages of psychological focus. I want to build on that today, and we're going to dive into a 10-part series. This is the part one around traits of people that are very indecisive and lack dis- and lack discipline, excuse me. So last one, if you haven't listened to, make sure you go back and listen to it. I think it'd be a good precursor to diving into this 10-part series with part one today. But the premise and one of the things that we talked about is how motivation is crap. Motivation is a noun. It's not something you do. It's only going to last so long, and it's going to last longer in certain people than others, but it always putters out. Right? It is the discipline that inevitably is going to get you where you want to go, regardless if those are life goals, career goals, business goals, maybe all the above, whatever it may be. It is the discipline to make decisions around the things that you can control and be great at them. And that is much what the psychology talks about around focus. It is not about narrowing your focus, which I said in the last podcast is very important. You can't try to do 27 things at once. That's not going to work either. But The whole psychology of focus does not focus around what you're focused on. It focuses around discipline and having the discipline to make the right decisions to be great at what you can control. You want to lose weight? You cannot control the metabolism. You you can't control the weight scale, but you absolutely can make the decision to have the discipline to do 20 push-ups when you get out of bed in the morning, right? Uh, To eat healthy, to get in the gym five more minutes a day than you may be already, to get a little bit more cardio in. Those things you have to be disciplined at, and that is what's called having a purposeful focus as it relates to the four stages of psychology. In that podcast, one of the things, if you look in the bottom left-hand corner about the four quadrants of, of psychology around focus, is indecisiveness, right? That indecisiveness is inevitably what is causing your your anxiety, your fear, your lack of success. Uh, if you feel scared of failure, whatever it is, much of that can be related back to being indecisive. So what I want to dive into now is how you know, what are traits of people that do lack the discipline of what I talked about? And in part one, we're going to be diving in today, and it's going to be procrastination, all right? We're going to be diving into a lot of things around procrastination and how if you are a person that does procrastinate, how you can get over that hump, okay? Looking forward to a great one today. Before we get started, let's fire up the music. Welcome to the Brian Wright Audio Experience, a podcast dedicated to helping entrepreneurs grow their business, make more money, and successfully navigate through the chaos of life, all while working, spending, and stressing less. And now your host... He's a husband, a father of two, an international business and life coach, and a trusted motivational speaker for some of the most respected companies in the world, such as Invisalign and many others. Brian Wright. Hey, everybody. Welcome in. Procrastination is what we're going to be diving into today, and we've all been there. We've all done it. You know, it's one of those things. It's much easier to coach you to not not procrastinate than it is to do it yourself, but... We've all been there. We've all done that. And I think some of it with maybe some people, it could be laziness, but I am a big believer the vast majority of people, laziness has nothing to do with it. You know, the longer, and and this is another reason why, you know, having coaches is so important is because a lot of times the coach there is not there to teach you things you don't already know. They're reinforcing things that you do know and holding you accountable to make sure that you're doing things on a repetitive basis, having this discipline that I so much talk about all over the world. And this is a perfect example from a procrastination standpoint. When we talked about last podcast, the enemy of progress is being indecisive. There has never been a fast, successful growing company with an indecisive, slow to make decisions leadership team. Does not exist. But yet so many of you out there in your small businesses are so indecisive. You take so long to make a decision. You try to create all kinds of, you know, let's study this and study that. Let's listen to 20 speakers, blah, blah, blah. And the next thing you know, you haven't done anything. And whenever you do go to finally make a decision, you screw it up anyway. This is why the quicker and faster you make decisions, the quicker you screw them up and the quicker you can overcome the screw ups, perfect it. And you've got perfecting it and on its way before the next guy down the street has even implemented it because they're trying to be so perfect. 
And when procrastination keeps in, we've all had it. You know, we have a task to do. And somehow we find a way for other, you know, 20 other things to get in our way from actually doing it. And it's a real problem, both if you're wanting to to improve, let's say you have a relationship problem, and that is affecting, if this is the first time you've listened to me, I am very passionate about, you know, the the triple threat, I call them. And it's it's life, career, and business. And none of those things exist on their own. If you have issues in your relationship in life, that is absolutely going to affect you as an entrepreneur and your leadership abilities and the things that you are going to accomplish. Same way employees out there, if you have a relationship problem or financial problem, that is going to affect your performance at work and therefore affect your career, which therefore affects the quality of your life. These things are very intertwined and why we teach all three. And why we're followed by not only business owners, we're also followed by just people out there that want to get more out of their life and career. And this is also why this podcast is dedicated to business owner entrepreneurs, their employees, and their family members. Because if you look at all three that I just said, those fit into that life, career, and business parallel that we talk so much about it. But this procrastination, let's say you are having a difficult time. Uh, in your relationship at home, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, whatever, spouse, whatever it is, and you want to have a conversation with them, you want to confront them about how you are feeling, and you are putting that off, what inevitably happens is, is it always is going to get harder and harder and harder for you the longer you wait. And that is when the anxiety, and like I've said a million times in this podcast, the fear creeps in the way. And the fear stands in the way of the success you are having. Your life, your career, your business falls right in between the the goals you want to achieve, the desires you want, and the fears that are standing and your weaknesses that are standing in the way of making it happen. So what can we do with procrastination if we are having a, a conversation or we need to have a conversation with our spouse about whatever it may be? is that you cannot allow things to stand in the way of you doing it because it's going to be harder and harder for you to have that conversation. You must wake up tomorrow morning or when you come home from work after you listen to this podcast today, you must have that conversation. The quicker you have it, the less your anxiety will be, the less fear you will have. You will overcome a weakness of having a difficult conversation because for a lot of you, difficult conversations are really hard. This is why leaders inside organizations give really crappy employee reviews. They don't hold people accountable the way they should, the way great leaders do, because they avoid the difficult conversation. They procrastinate. They put it off. 20 other things creep up. And the next thing you know, these conversations do not have or excuse me, do not happen. Now, obviously, what I'm talking about is a is a minute example of thousands of things that we could talk about on the show, right? And I'm talking about the relationship issues. And relationship issues are such a business entrepreneur killer, and they hurt people's careers so much. So why do we wait? Why do we procrastinate? And a lot of that goes back to self-discipline. What I talked about on the prior episode on this podcast, and also what I led off with today, is it goes back to having the self-discipline to make the decision to move forward and have that tough conversation. The self-discipline to move forward, making the decision to put your health and well-being at the front of the line. The discipline on making sure that you have a focus inside your organization on things that you can control. And not just inside your organization, also employees out there listening and you want to advance your career again in your life. You know, you cannot control the type house you're able to afford, but you sure as hell can control the things that will make you more money to where you then can go and buy a more expensive house, a bigger house, better location, whatever it may be. Again, all three of them are intertwined. And if any of you are like me, it's funny whenever you procrastinate and you know you should be doing something and you put it off and you put it off. I think we almost psychologically trick ourselves into thinking that somehow magically this task is just going to go away. Like by not doing it, somehow in in three weeks, I'm going to wake up and it's just going to do it itself. I I think that we all know that the task isn't going to go away, but I think we all trick ourselves into thinking that if we push it off, eventually we just won't won't have to do it. I'll give you an example. You know, early on uh, with my companies, 
there were times I was just scared out of my mind to open up our bank account and look at the, you know, look at the cash flow because there wasn't any. I'm sure all of you can relate out there, whether it be your personal checking account or your business checking account, whatever it might be, is that one of the ways I used to procrastinate all the time is just getting my ass in there and looking and facing the facts of, oh, crap, we're in trouble. What do I do? And I also found out a lot of times that by procrastinating, because I was so scared to look at the, the cash balance, is that sometimes once I finally did get in there, I was actually pleasantly surprised. And I spent all the, you know, I spent two weeks worrying about something that I didn't even need to worry about because the cash flow was actually pretty damn good. And we've all been in the situation where if we know the cash is good in our account, we'd love to open up and look at it. But if you know we're making investments in our brokerage account or IRA, if a lot of you, if you're like me, I, I'm heavily invested in crypto. As I do this podcast today, the last last couple of years have not been pretty there. Uh, but when it was good, man, I love to open that thing up. But I know when it's crashing and it's coming down, it's like I don't know. Should I hit this? Uh, should I hit this app? I use Coinbase, or should I hit this? Open up this Coinbase app? I don't know. And while you're doing that and you're procrastinating and you're being indecisive on whether or not you should do it, the anxiety and the fear and, and the stomach pains and all this stuff just creep up and up and up and up. And again, it's not that we don't know that we should be doing these things, but it goes back to this four stages of psychological focus is once we reach that indecision point and it becomes the enemy of progress, this is what we do as humans. And it absolutely kills the forward progress in our lives, our careers, and entrepreneurs out there, your businesses. And I think, ironically enough, procrastination, oftentimes, I think we can trick ourselves into thinking it's our, our best friend, right? Like I was saying earlier about, hey, if I don't do this, maybe it'll just go away. And I think that's how we trick ourselves into thinking it's going to give us some temporary relief. And it may give us a couple minutes of temporary relief, but, and you all know this, you've all been there, regardless, again, whether it's a relationship problem, employees, maybe you are, you know, you want to ask your boss for your leadership team for a raise uh, or a bonus or a promotion, whatever it may be, business owners, there's a thousand examples too, is that, you know, by putting it off right now, can it make us feel better and give us that instant gratification of relief? Yeah, it can. But that instant relief or that instant gratification, that instant feeling of relief, it goes away very quickly. And when it does, the anxiety that comes from that doubles and it gets worse and worse. And this is so bad for our mental health. It's so bad for our physical health. And as those things decline, our performance declines. Our performance as being a great husband, a great father at home, our performance uh, from a career standpoint, employees out there, whatever it may be, the value you offer the business, it declines. Business owners, your numbers decline, your leadership skill sets, the culture you're able to build, those decline. And as those are all declining, inevitably what's crazy is, is those are the things that you actually can control. Right, So now all, all of a sudden, you have numbers that are starting to decline. Your relationship gets worse. Your health gets worse in your life. Employees, you move further and further away from the promotion. Business owners, you move further and further away from accomplishing what you want as an entrepreneur for your business. That could be more money. It could be more freedom. It could be a combination of both. And we all know this, yet we still, once we reach that indecision point, and that four stages of psychological focus, remember, go back and listen to the prior episode so you can hear me dive into these four stages more because they are very, very powerful. And the success you will have or will not have in your life, career, business journey. So as we wrap up today, my challenge for all of you is take something in your life that you are procrastinating over. And it can be anything. It can be in your life. It can be in your career. It could be in your business. It could be all the above. Take something and right after you hear this podcast, go and do it. Open up your bank account, even though you're scared to look at the, the numbers in there. Employees, go ask for the raise. Go have that difficult conversation with your wife, spouse, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever it is. Start your workout routine tomorrow. Put self-health first. Start eating healthier. You know, if you're addicted to, to Coca-Cola or something, throw it out when you get home. And then have the discipline to say, I'm never going to buy this again. Again, that is back with purposeful focus. Discipline to make the decision to throw away that Coca-Cola and never buy it again. You can control that. So therefore, it fits into the description. Business owners, if you want to terminate an employee, God forbid, but you've been scared to have the conversation, do it today. 
business owners, if your culture is suffering and you know, you know that you aren't getting any of your strategies implemented, seek help with a coach today. Employees, if you want to raise, go ask your leadership team for that raise today. And it will always be easier to do it now than wait to make a decision and wait this out and let the anxiety build because you all know how it feels when that anxiety builds and that fear creeps in and it gets worse and worse. All of this stuff that I'm trying to teach you to do just gets put on the back burner for all the reasons we talked about today. Get out there, be proactive, be decisive. Even if you end up failing from making a quick decision, having that tough conversation with the wife and maybe your, your relationship gets worse first, it'll always be better than if you wait it out and let all these anxieties and fears build because it will affect you in every way, mentally and physically. Go grab something in your life that you're being, that you're being indecisive about, you're, pro, you're procrastinating about. Knock it out today, all right? Hope everybody enjoyed part one. We're going to be on a journey probably for about a 10-part series. It may not end up being a full 10, but we're going to try to get there all around this psychology of focus hitting off today around that indecision and procrastination. Please refer the Brian Wright Show to your friends, family, anybody that wants to improve their life, career, and their business out there. We're looking for those great organic referrals. Write us a nice five-star review about the podcast if you would. That would mean a lot. And we'll see you back here with another episode soon. Bye-bye.